Okay guys, so I wanted to show you a quick little update on Ping and Lease and the rest of our little ducks. Also wanted to show you guys our aquarium setup. Um, Maggie has some beautiful aquariums inside and we've had a couple people ask about it, so we're going to show you that real quick. And also we're going to give our ducks a little snack. These are water plants that Maggie grows in her aquariums and uh, they grow faster than we would prefer, so we just harvest a few and give them to the ducks, and they absolutely love it. So these are our ducks, the male duck with the green head here. This is obviously Ping, he's the only male. The rest are his little harem of females. The duck with the yellowish colored beak is Lise. That's the one that Olive and Ellie raised. And then all the dark colored ducks, they, they're the ones with the duck col dark colored beaks. We really haven't given them names. So Ping has been doing this funny little thing, let's see if I can get him to do it, where he like messes with my boot. And I don't really know what he's doing, if he's trying to like aggressively attack me, if he's trying to like mate with my boot, or what he's doing. There he goes, he's doing it. Or maybe he's trying to get me to feed him, I don't know what this is all about. But this is a new behavior since he's matured. So I kind of think it has something to do with either aggression or mating. I really don't know. He's really not doing it to me either. Yeah, he just does it to me when I walk along. Look. Like, is this aggressive? Like a rooster attacking people? Is this him being a horny duck? Like, mallards, uh, male, male ducks are really high, high sex drive. Maybe he's trying to breed with my boot like a dog humping a... a your leg or something. I don't know what he's doing. And maybe he's just begging for food. Maybe he thinks if he does that, I'll feed him. Like, I really have no clue what his goal or uh, incentive is for doing this. Huh, what are you doing, you city boy? And when I come down next to him, he just kind of plays with my fingers like he wants me to feed him. And the females come around and do that, but they don't mess with my boot. They'll come around when I, when I bend over and they'll see if I have food, but they don't mess with my boot the way he does. See, <laughs> like, what is he doing? Are you trying, are you begging for food? What do you want, sir? What do you want, sir? You're a silly duck. You're a silly duck. Yeah. You're a silly duck. Oh, you're a silly duck, too. Huh. Yeah, you're such a silly duck. How come you're such a silly duck? Oh, yeah, what do you want? I don't know what you want. I know what you want. You girls want food, huh? And like, hey, you got any snacks for us? And see, this behavior just looks like him wanting food, right? When he nuzzles my fingers like this. And all the ducks do it, not just him. But he's the only one that goes after my boot when I walk. Why do you want to go after my boot, huh? Are you trying to be mean? Are you trying to fight with me? What are you doing? You're a silly duck. Well, let's give them their little snacks. So, I could just give it to them by hand. But it's actually more fun to put it in their water and let them naturally kind of uh, forage for it. What, whoever's an expert in the comments, right? Why yeah. he does that. <laughs> Duck experts. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. We obviously have to change their water pretty regularly because as you can see they get it dirty really fast. The combination of mud and duck poop, it gets dirty really fast. So we change their water very regularly. But as you can tell it's it's uh, ready for another change here. It gets full of grass and mud and duck poop really fast. <laughs> She's like, not now, I'm eating. I'm eating a bath and a snack. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to show you the funny little behavior of Ping. And uh, if any of you guys know duck body language better than I, I'm very far from being versed in, in ducks. I know a little bit, but there's definitely people who know more. 
So if you have an idea of what he's actually doing and you actually know about ducks and duck body language, I don't just chime in with your own guesses like I have my own guesses too. If you're if you feel like you're well versed in duck body language, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What is Ping doing? Is it aggressive? Is it food? Are you trying to get food? Or is it a, a, a sexual thing he's trying to mate with my boot? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like, once again, I, I would prefer if you don't know ducks or if you mildly know ducks like me, just kind of keep your opinions to yourself. I want to hear from people who actually have real life duck experience and thoroughly understand duck body language. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now let's go show you guys our uh, aquariums inside so you can see where we're growing these plants and the little fish and stuff that we have. So another favorite snack we like to give the ducks are dubias. If you remember back when we had Raptor the monitor lizard, we raised a colony of dubias. Well, we still have the colony, just minus the lizard. So we use them for duck snacks. Since they just eat garbage, it's like, there's no point in getting rid of them. It's nice having feeder insects on hand at all times. So these are the little dubias that we've pulled out of our colony that we're gonna feed the ducks. Okay, girls, you want to feed the ducks? Yeah. Galilee, come here. Galilee, come here. Ducky, 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 ducky. Uncle. Here, come grab one. Grab one. Galilee. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. You got one on your shoe, kid. You almost fly. How are you, ducky? Ducky, 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 ducky. Wow, that one ate it. Yeah. Ducky, 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 ducky. 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 Ducky, ducky, You gotta put it down. Why are you taking it up? They can't take it for you. Ducky, 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 Wow! He caught it! Grab one. Grab one. Ducky, 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 ducky. Wow! Daddy! Daddy's so ready. No, no, hold, hold your hand still. There you go! Yay! 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 I feel like it's her personality more than hey. anything else. Let's go. So this is one of Maggie's main aquariums. Um, I would have Maggie show them to you since they are her aquariums, but she absolutely refuses to be on camera 99% of the time. <laughs> this is her aquarium, and as you see, she's got these beautiful green plants growing in them. And that, these are some of the plants that we harvest for uh, feeding the ducks. And we don't really have them for the purpose of feeding the ducks. They're there just for aesthetic purposes, but it ends up being a dual purpose thing just out of out of good fortune. The fish also eat them. This one has the most fish, so this one gets well. Besides the the other one, but this one has a lot of fish that I just I I have to cycle the water more often. So if you're wondering why there's so many fish, it's okay to do that as long as you change the water regularly and just like keep an eye on on them that they're not fighting um, this one was being bullied by the uh, by the other one so I move him to or her to here so this is our other main aquarium um, I need to oh, are you gonna explain yeah! yay are you gonna explain <laughs> it come, come explain the aquarium so yeah this is another one of Maggie's main aquariums that are in the kitchen and uh, it's a pretty beautiful setup. Same thing as you see lots of live plants 
to help increase the water quality, give food to the fish. And then the added bonus is the ducks get to have snacks too. This one is 65 gallons. One, two. Two fish at a time. Two fish at a time. There's actually more fish in this one, but this one's is not very crowded like that. Even though there's a catfish under there. Yeah, there's a catfish. We should put some more fish in it. There's not very no. much fish. It's okay. This one, because it's by the light, gets dirty the most. So it's by a window and by a door. This one gets. It's a lot more algae going in it, but and then I have my little breeding, my breeding tank. And this one is more for just little guppies. Oh, do you want to see my guppies? And this one's, um, this one is just a tank, ten gallon, ten gallon one. It's on my countertops, but. Yeah, same. So whenever I see those little floater, floater ones, I, I should just take them and those are the ones that we will feed the ducks. So this aquarium actually does have a purpose. This is our feeder fish aquarium. In here we have lots of plants, way more than more crowded than the other uh, aquariums. But the reason for it is it helps to protect the fish fry, the yellow, little babies in the, that are born in here. And the species that we're raising are guppies. And these little guppies are used to feed Olive and Eleanor's snakes. This is my bunny, and I feed him every day and change his potty, and I give him some more water. I should probably give him some more water. And I play with him every day. What's his name? His name is Ollie. Do you want to see my crickets? There's my crickets over there. So this is my crickets and I need to give him some water. And the crickets make music. Do you know why I got crickets? Why? Because I like the music when they come every, when whenever they, they give me some music and I kind of fall asleep. That helps me sleep a lot. <laughs> What's in here? There's snakes. Look, you can see the he snake's head. Oh, yeah. Ellie, do you want to show your snake, too? There's my snake coming out. Coming to say hello. I wonder if he thinks we're going to feed him. Yeah. Oh, should we feed him? Should mm. we show him that we feed him? There's our snake. Yeah, we're study when he feeds that one is mine. That one looks Hey, you're going to talk about your snake. I give them water, and we give them the fish, to, the guppies that Daddy was telling about, and the other aquarium in the kitchen. And that's for my snake's food. Ellie. And another snake that's mine, and I feed him water, food. Fish is the food for the snakes. Mm -hmm. see rat, baby rats, even baby rats. So, and they like to hide, and we like to find them. And there's one right there in the leaf. Oh, hiding. yeah, you're right. In the leaf, you saw. Oh, we can see, see him poking out. My one likes going up there. My one likes going up there. So is this one Ellie's, the one in the in the branch? Or no. is that one at least? That one is at least. Yeah, that one seems there. the smaller one. Um, yeah, which one looks the smaller one? I don't know. They're kind of oh, both the I same size. Fall. You know, that I'm not seeing them. So this is my snake. I saw it with my eyes. And and I wanted to tell you. So, so all I can have a snake. Oh, where did you find it, Ellie? No, you didn't. Remember when you first found this snake when it was a little baby and he was crawling on the ground? Do you remember? In the ground, and I saw it with my like eyes, and I said, and I saw a wiggly thing, and I said, Daddy, I found a snake. And then we went home and put it in the cage. 
Yeah. And then we, and Daddy showed me this little snake, and then I got used to it, and then I wanted it, and then now we let him go, so now he can have <laughs> his own family. Have a damn day. Yeah, little snake. Want to pet it? Oh, wow. Look, pet. Wow, okay, put your hand flat like this. Oh, isn't it cute? Be gentle, Be gentle. Gentle, gentle. She's like me. She's like yeah, gentle. Good job. I'm going to get a little day. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop looking at me. Yeah, that one is littler. Oh, yeah. Ellie's it is dark. Yeah, Ellie's is darker really and smaller. Little. Gentle, gentle. And mine is bigger and lighter. Yeah. How did you find it? Where did you find this snake? Yeah, when I was working along the canal, I found that one. And I thought, oh, Olive would like this snake. It was in the night, right? I don't because remember. I, because you showed me in the uh, night. You're like, here. Let me oh, take me. Me some tea. And I found it with my bright eyes, and I and I saw the wiggly thing, and I think it was it was a dark snake, oh, and I grab it, and say, "Mommy, mommy, I found a snake." 